message will be touched. And we thank you, Lord, right now for the people in this room. Give us direction, give us wisdom, and give us patience. For those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength, and they shall mount up on wings like eagles. Father, we thank you for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Love you guys. In the times where you feel like you're a little alone, times where you feel like well, what's going to happen over the next couple of years or worse maybe worse than every night than having yeah, no yeah, limbs yeah. and I just want to tell you that I love you kids come up what you see is what you get you know they ask you know what happened what happened this one little kid like I got I got so annoyed at saying I don't know I don't know I don't know so this one little boy came up and he said what happened and I went up to him and I go cigarettes one day I reckon I'm going to drive a car and that day is going to come, but um, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and she must have thrown my head to the 360 degree spin. She was figuring out like, ah, oh my gosh, you know. Anyway, I, uh, <laughs> no doctors can tell me why I was born this way. And uh, my brother and my sister were born after me. They have arms and legs. You're alone. And, As a kid. and you'll always be alone. Nick, you're never going to get married. Time. Even if you got married, you can't even hold your wife's hand. Nick, you, you're just a burden to your parents. It's probably better that you're not here. You know, one million people this year will commit suicide. Be free, right? That's one suicide. That's what I thought. I thought that my prison bars were the fact that I had no arms, no legs. And, and if I was just like everybody else, then, then things would be okay. But I found out that there were so many people with arms and legs and still broken. You see, you can have arms and legs, but be in prison on the inside. With I was in prison in this body, having no arms and legs. My arms and legs were ticket to joy. I was wrong. Arms and legs itself ain't going to give me happiness. What's going to give me peace? Money, you see, you drugs, can get out of sex, alcohol, pornography, stuff, all that stuff can never you give me You know, my parents you always told me, Nick, you've got to be thankful for what you have instead of being angry for so what I you don't have. I realized in my life that, you know, so many life. of us, we have to believe in understanding that God does have something better for us, for us to receive it. Or whether you believe And God, then when people do bad things against me, I pray for those people because they need to know that God loves them too. And I've been around 42 countries. I've seen death. I've seen stuff. And I've seen though how Jesus is here. What I've done is so by the grace of God. He's transformed my life and I've asked God. So what do you do when you fall down? This is what I've done. Get back up. Do you know that when you fall down, when you've come to the Lord Jesus Christ, do you know that victory is not when you get up? Victory is knowing that He'll never leave me. See, the Lord victory is knowing He'll never ever give up on me. <laughs> Go. Enoch. Does that mean the devil doesn't give up? No. Nope. He'll come through the window. He'll come from the roof. He'll dig a tunnel and get into the basement and crawl up in our soul. We thank you, Lord, that as we place our soul into your trust, we know we're in good hands. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, that you are God. And thank you for another chance. Thank you, God. Amen. That your love doesn't change. Amen. In a way that you'll never ever be the same again. Go, raise your hand. Come on. You said that prayer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Six of you, seven of you, eight, nine. Anybody else? You raise your hand because you say you ask God into your life and you're ready to live your life for God. And you know you've done it your way, it doesn't work. You've asked God to Give you a big hug.
gonna need a little bit of a shot.